What's going on? This is Dr. Ferguson, and the, the judo question for today is: Why don't you Why don't you teach ukemi first? I mean, why don't you teach break falls first when children come to your class? Well, I've, I've had some vast experiences as an athlete. I've been able to play football at a Division One level. I wrestled in college, and I also did mixed martial arts professionally, where I fought for strike force, and I've done judo for more than a more than a few years. And when I played football, nobody taught me how to fall. Somebody taught me how to tackle, but nobody taught me how to fall. When I wrestled, nobody taught me how to fall. Um, do you need to learn how to fall with judo? I believe so. However, I will say this: in the marketplace that we live in now and the one that I live in, in terms of where my judo club is, I have to keep compete with Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And the last thing that a kid wants to do is to come in for a private lesson and learn how to fall and then leave and be sold on that. And when he goes home, somebody says, well, let's see. show me what they taught you. And he gets on the mat and screams, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not fun, it's not exciting, it's not sexy. I'm not telling you that the child doesn't need to learn how to fall. What I'm telling you is that the first lesson that you get in my dojo is you're learning how to throw and you're learning how to do an arm bar. Because when you leave and somebody asks you, what did you learn? You at least have something to show them. And to be honest with you, it's a better sell for the sport than having somebody come in your dojo and just do the falls. So do I teach falls? Yes. Are falls the first thing that I teach? No. And that's the answer for the question of the day.